Hey everyone, Mango Seven World here. How are we doing today? Welcome to another episode of Epic Seven, and today we're going to be looking at the new unit that was hopefully just released. Just a reminder: uh, the official Epic Seven account. I'll link it in the description below. While you're checking them out, make sure you hit subscribe and the notification bell, uh, just like you should on my channel. Make sure you're doing that too. And then we're going to hit F5, and it should be right here. No. <laughs> Really? Game? You said released now. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, we found it. We found it. First it's time only seeing natural this. natural for an inferior being to die. I'll remove you like you never even existed. Single target. Oh, ho, 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 ho. That's Everything extinction, has right? A designated order without exception. So we have the defense imprint. He looks fantastic. Let's see it. 증명된 업적을 통해 테라나드의 많은 사람들은 그를 경외의 대상으로 여기고 있습니다. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. How fast? 자, 그는... 119. Uh, 119 warrior is real fast. Self-imprint attack percent. Um 27% crit chance base as well. Low defenses, pretty high attack. So he's going to be an offensive warrior of sorts, we can tell from this. Kind of surprised his defense is that low with his imprint release being defense percent. Um 27% base crit is pretty nuts. Having that just helps out gearing so much. Um, and all you sacrifice for that is probably some health and defense. Hey, let's see your skills, buddy. He's got to do extinction, right? With the way he said that? Here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm pumped. Okay, execute. Attacks the enemy, inflicting... <laughs> oh, no. Oh no, he's injuries. Inflicting injuries before granting the caster invincibility for one turn. Okay. Increases the hit chance and critical hit chance by 50% when attacking. Okay, that's pretty fantastic too. Uh, wow, that's 50% crit. So that means he will have 23, 73% um, crit chance or 88% against elemental advantage uh, with just no crit on his gear. So that seems pretty good. Uh, the severity of injuries increases proportionate injuries. Yeah, okay. 참살. 적을 공격하여 상처를 발생시킨 후 자신에게 1턴간 무적을 발생시킵니다. 공격의 명중과 치명 확률이 uh, so sorry to keep pausing. This is something we're, we're talking through. Uh, I have to do these differently than usual because there's no stream. But um, one thing to note here is he's an Earth Warrior and one of the other problem, I don't know if she's a problem at all, but Milam is also Fire. So the hit chance not doing so great against her um, and doesn't help at all versus Rem, who's, who I thought he would be uh, targeted for. The funny part about that is like he did like 7k damage and Violet's just gonna counter attack for like 9k. Actually, he's at as invincibility, he can't. But uh basically Violet's still gonna kill him after that unless something else happens. So elaborate plan dispels two buffs from an ally and the caster before granting barrier for two turns, increases the CR by 50%. Huh. Ah, so I'm not sure about this one, specifically because anytime you have a DPS of sorts with uh, a skill 2 that doesn't do anything offensive. I mean, it does with a CR boost, but doesn't have any way to give an extra turn, whether that's just on the skill like um, TM Lulica or a burn. Uh, that's problematic for the character usually. Uh, again, we haven't seen skill 1 yet, but um, like I imagine you want to start off with execute and then doing this one too maybe, or just uh boosting cr oh the cr is not for the other target as well okay that's a lot worse than i thought i thought you could maybe use them as like an ox lots as well 
Wait, what was the barrier strength? Was it by attack? Targets max health. Okay. That's real bad, right? That feels real bad. Like, the dispel is cool, but the barrier... You're probably not going to need to bury your FCC. You're probably going to be burying your somebody with like 12k life, so it's going to be like a, a 6k... Not a very big shield, right? This seems real bad. I'm not a fan of that so far on first glance. Okay, and attacks the enemy with a longsword. Okay, good. He doesn't have to build crit, which is fantastic. Um, that's what I was worried about, because if his skill 1 didn't have the 50% chance to crit, then he would be in trouble. Um, but this doesn't look very good. Huh. This doesn't seem good, right? I guess he's not limited. <laughs> okay, that did a lot. Oh, it's defense break. Okay, here's where it's going to be good, right? So after using a non-attack skill, increases speed of the caster for two turns and increases critical hit damage of the next attack by 30%. Okay, this is kind of interesting because you think you want to use it on him, right? But you also don't have to build him crit, which means people with good gear are going to be over 300% 320% crit damage probably, right? So that's kind of weird as well. Uh, I was thinking maybe once I saw like the artifact happen, maybe after using a non-attack skill, it boosts your CR by 50%. So that way you take the extra turn without giving him an extra turn, right? Huh. Um, what other warriors? What other warriors can use this? Let's open up the game really quickly here. I just want to take a, a really quick look into a really quick look into the game. Okay, and we'll hide this here. My daily summon, everybody. Uh, so let's take a look at the Earth Warriors with non-attack skill, or just Warriors with non-attack skill. So straws, no, no. Uh, Sermia, yeah, that gives you 30% extra crit damage from that and boosts her next turn. Um, but is that better than Border Coin? I always forget what Border Coin does. The Border Coin, um, 9%. Okay, that's probably better. No, maybe not better because her base attack is so high. Um, we then have Cowric? Uh, no. Uh, Lilibet, does this count as spell i don't think so okay so there's really not many people to use this on whatsoever right there really isn't okay so let's go back into the video here let's go back into the video and huh i want to see what they say about it Interesting. Um, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> that is a, not a frame. Okay, so... Let's see what people say. Press the like button and submit your information to receive three leaves? That's, that's BS. Don't make us do this stuff, you know? That's frustrating. Uh, Earth Specialty Warriors. I was so nervous, I thought he was Mart's Moonlight. He looks amazing. Easy skip. 77 base crit rate. Yeah, that's what I said. Um, interesting. Yeah. I'm, I'm not a big fan of this, honestly. Uh, I'm sure he'll be fun for some people. I was really hoping for a more elegant Husbando I could use uh, more often. I'll probably still pull for him and maybe like, maybe he does exactly what he needs to do, 
which is uh, kill violets in one hit, right? Like maybe that's the only thing he needs to do. Um, but it also doesn't have extinction or anything like that either. I'm just kind of confused. So what do y'all think about this? Uh, let me know in the comments below um, if I'm missing anything about him. But uh, this is the first character I've had in a while where I feel like I'm a little, little, it's a little lackluster, it feels like, on the surface. Uh, specifically his skill too. I just, maybe this will turn into something, but it's a four turn cooldown. You don't even get minus one turn cooldown on it. So you can't even really cycle too much. Um, I guess the good part about his kit is he can be uh, offensive and do a boatload of damage and get uh, invincibility. Um, and it really depends on like how much damage this does, right? Because maybe this does a lot of damage. Uh, maybe that does just boatloads of damage. But his skill 3 didn't look like it did, which is um, invincibility here. And injuries too? On a single target? I don't know, folks. <laughs> I'm I'm not sold. Uh, so let me know in the comments below what you think. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe as always. And I'll talk to you all later. Bye, everybody.